The National Resident Matching Program strives to maintain a fair and transparent process for all match participants. The match participation agreements that govern NRMP matches contain important policies and specify the steps individuals must take to comply with those policies. Non-compliance, whether intentional or not, could result in an investigation and sanctions. This video, one of three in the Program Policy Pitfall series, covers common mistakes programs may encounter during the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, or SOAP, process for the main residency match. Other videos in the series cover the Binding Match Commitment and Waiver Policy and Violation Investigations. Let's review common program mistakes that occur during SOAP. Programs, faculty, or staff initiate unsolicited contact with directors of unfilled programs on behalf of unmatched applicants. Unfilled programs consider applicants for or offer applicants positions outside SOAP. And programs ask applicants whether they will accept a position if one is offered during SOAP. Consider these examples. During match week, Dr. Femi Jeffries, professor of medicine at Global Medical Center, sent a letter of support for Sonny Feldman, an unmatched applicant, to National Hospital's Family Medicine Program with a request that the program consider Mr. Feldman for the unfilled position. The Family Medicine Program director had not yet contacted Mr. Feldman about his application. SOAP policies prohibit individuals acting on behalf of unmatched applicants from contacting programs until the applicant has applied to the program and the unfilled program has initiated contact. This applies to any individual, regardless of their role in an institution or school. During Match Week, the Neurology Program Director at National Health Center announced on the Match Week and SOAP listserv that he had an unfilled position. He asked members of the listserv to share his opening with unmatched applicants. The Neurology Program was not participating in SOAP. SOAP policies prohibit programs with unfilled positions from soliciting or considering applications or extending any offers to any applicants outside of SOAP until SOAP concludes. Programs are not required to participate in SOAP, but if they don't, they cannot recruit for their unfilled positions until SOAP concludes. During match week, Lindsay Scott applied for an unfilled position in the General Surgery Program at Utopia Medical Center. As part of the phone interview, the program director asked her for assurance that she would accept the position if it was offered to her through SOAP. SOAP policies prohibit programs from asking or pressuring applicants to accept a position during SOAP. In all phases of a match, coercive behavior is strictly forbidden. Any potential breach of the match participation agreement, whether intentional or not, can result in a violation investigation. The NRMP's violations policy is incorporated by reference in the match agreements and contains detailed information about the investigative process. For programs found in violation of SOAP, sanctions levied by the NRMP can include being identified as a match violator in the R3 system for one year, and having notification of the investigation sent to the appropriate ACGME review committee. NRMP is authorized to levy additional sanctions when appropriate. Programs can seek arbitration and dispute resolution under the match agreement. To avoid these pitfalls, read the violations policy and the match participation agreement for programs so you understand your rights and responsibilities. Visit the NRMP website to find policies and other related resources. Contact the NRMP at policy at nrmp.org with questions. Be sure to view the other videos in the Program Policy Pitfalls series, along with the Match Policy Highlights for Programs video.